Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris Omi and we are playing some more Starters Order 7 on the Start It mod here at the Not For Long Stables. Um, bunch of horses running, bunch of horses not running, you can see here. Everybody that won the Maiden as a two-year-old and everybody who sort of we couldn't find good races for here, you can see the top four are ones we didn't find races for. As well as Iggy, who didn't win a maiden, but opened up with a grade 3 victory instead. So, those that didn't win either the grade 3s, there's three of those, or, or their maidens. Like, we got all those two-year-olds running. And then we've interspersed some good races before then. Uh, all of them have already won a grade 1 apart from Afro Storm. So, they're going to go... They're going to go for a, a grade one. We'll see how that works out. And then that would leave us, if we got that, for age three and above, it would only be Halifax Espana who would not have won a grade one race. So I'm kind of excited to see if that maybe happens. I'm not entirely sure. I have to be 100% honest about that. Uh, I'm not entirely confident. We've got a little while before the next one because we've got auctions coming up. We got a breeder sale, we got a weekly sale back to back. And then we got a yearling sale coming up at the end of the month as well. So we're gonna go visit those. We're gonna see what we can see. Uh breeders. Breeders, okay, okay. Decent. Okay. One a maiden. One a pair of novices at increasing distance. One a grade three, and then one the grade two so like we're five or five okay decent maiden a good novice a really nice novice a solid winner on mile four a slight win it was a two horse race at a mile six i mean okay um I think we take a risk. I think we take a risk on Hard Glass Mist. I mean... Right? They're 5 from 5. They're a grade 2 winner. And then we got Clarabel, who... Like, I know hasn't run well for a while. I know that. But at times, this has been a really good horse. 7 grade 1 wins. So yeah, okay. She maybe fell off age 5, age 6 a little bit. But still, this is a very, very nice horse. Um, we can't really tell anything about it, but those two, those two at least seem to have a bit of racing pedigree. So, let's throw some money at it. Hey, I didn't expect to get anything out of these auctions. I could get a, ca a pair of breeders right here, which would be just awesome if the stats are right and we get to keep and breed from these that could be awesome so clarabelle in for 2.7 something odd glass i think is going to be a 1.4 no 1.25 cheap okay so we did try trinity that one didn't work out so well. That was a Friday auction. Then we got Clarabel. Big money. It's got to be something here. It's got to be something here. Okay. There's nothing. Ah, oh, there's. There's no reason for it to win that many grade ones. Like I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that a horse can win that much looking that bad. But if I have a horse that looks that bad, I don't even get close to grade one. Ah, oh, tons of cruising burst. I was gonna say we just write this one off completely, and then I saw the cruising burst. I was like, oh damn. But yeah, no confidence, little enthusiasm, not a full finish application. No potential at all. We could try breathing it in, but by the time we get a horse with good potential, like that cruising burst is going to dip down to 50. 
we're going to lose some other good stats. And I've already got horses at 50% cruising burst to breed with each other that already have good potential. So we're going to get much more potential without losing any of the cruising burst and without losing the other bad stats. So, oh, we had two shots. We took them. They didn't work out too well. Uh, let's not. No, let's check. Yeah, let's check. Uh, <laughs> okay, striker deal squad and ballerina who's got a grade two. There's three graded races. Races coming out of Bon Athano, Athanog. I'm not sure. Uh, and Charma. Only striker deal. Okay. Four, three, and two. Yeah. Um. Won the La Brea. I mean, we almost went for the La Brea. We almost went for it. It was that or... I can't remember the other one that we were going to go for. But it seems to have run okay in a bunch of races and done okay. I've, I got, I've got burned by all these grade ones through the auctions. I'm a bit skeptical, but 130 rated. Strike a deal. Now, this is going to be 3.2 like or something. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say it's not going to rise too much more, but we did approach that 3.4. Clarabelle looked fun, but was nothing. Hardglass Mist looked fun, but there was nothing. Trinity Gale. We look further down and mind the monarch. We keep going down. I missed to catch a prince. Okay. Yeah, maybe not a huge loss there. I don't check every Friday auction. I don't. Sumbe. There's another grade one. There's another grade one there in Gong Hills. Double V we tried. Didn't work out for us. Special Park, Chair in a Hurry, Illustrious Miss. None of those worked out for us. So yeah, we're not catching every grade one winner. But we're catching a bunch of them. We are catching a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, please. Please be something. Please be something. Strike a deal is decent. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of extra speed, some decent potential. Not really too much else. Nothing really stands out about the horse, to be honest with you. But she's four. She's a decent sort of horse. She's one group, one wins. She comes from Charmer who's a grade one winner. Uh, Bon Athanag has almost won grade ones. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a breeder. I do think that's someone we can actually breed from. Okay. Um, do I breed with Halifax? I could. I could. There's also the Saudia Sprint at the end of the month. Yeah, why not? We'll let her run that. We will write a, we will we'll let her run that. Okay. Um Mandalay King, we know Mandalay King's pretty good. Isle of Flame, like, not really much. Um, try. Do we not? Headed. No, I don't think we... I don't think we do. Again, I've been burned too many times on the... Um, on the two-year-olds. I just don't think it's a good look for us. Okay. So... Halidite is on a maiden after losing that grade three. 
and Halliday wins the maiden at six. We are, yeah. So Halliday's a, a six furlong. Halliday is a six furlong. That's fine. Happy with that. Decent win. Good run. Like that. Already 70% potential. She's looking really, really solid right now. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Let's see then. Dream Cuckoo. Ran at six is going again at six. And there's a win. Distance was good. Race was okay. Not a huge win, but again, comfortably solid. Up to 65 poten uh, potential. 90 extra speed. If, uh, if we had full finish, I'd love that as a sprinter. So, okay. But we've got two more maiden wins. I'm pretty happy with that right now. I think that's a good place to be. Only one horse in the auction. We're not going to go after that. And then Dat Fang. Okay, heading back to Tokyo for the February race. And there we go. So there's the February grade one. Four euros and above on dirt over a mile. We are top rated, of course. We are on weight. We are the best American horse. Fly by White comes across from Canada. Acquisitive comes across from Britain. And then we've got three domestic grade one winners. Sadika's decent, but isn't really a top ta top challenger. Owen Glendar is okay, but it's really Little Port and Brandy I'm watching here. I think them and Fly by White usually runs okay, but um, we like that fang. We really, really do like that fang. Last season we were discussing how they rank up against Bull Cuckoo, and Cuckoo was always my number one over a mile. And... Yeah, I wasn't sure, but towards the end of the year, we were sort of leaning more to that fang. So, big test. Can they do it abroad against a good field? And get the job done. So, we're at the rear to begin with Fly by White up front with Little Port and Brandy and Sadika. Back to Spring Moon, another decent horse here on the outside, number one. Uh, and then the three of Acquisitive, Owen Glendor and Dickie Mint. We're going to take this wide run the long way round down to the final two. Fly by White is up. We're going to see Little Port and Brandy coming up here. We're making a move. And we seem to be the, the horse with the main legs out of the chasing pack right now. We're about a length back on the final furlong. Is there another push? Is there any more fight? Or is Fly by White going to take this? They do indeed. Little Port and Brandy coming up, but just about a length ahead we came close we got sandwiched between the two good horses in the field we missed our break we ran wide it wasn't the best race in the world for us and we dropped back down to a 136 rating so yeah yeah it's a little bit of a shame it is a little bit of a shame that incredible win streak has no ended for that fang. Yeah, I don't think we should be riding as a closer on that one so much. Okay. It's not the worst in the world. It certainly is. Double Dara's running at six. We already ran a grade three at six. That should be a win. But it's not. Very green. Okay, so... Double Dara is going to be a triple. That's a horse that's going to take three maidens. It's annoying. It's annoying, but there's nothing we can do about it. I'm going to book back here. End of March, I guess. Okay, final day in February is our last sort of uh, a day's racing here in the month. 
So we go to our final Friday of the month. Nothing there. We're going to get up for these races. So, at the fairgrounds, Bella Maker is running a maiden. But we've also got the three big races now. So, one mile, two furlongs for British Battler in Mohammed Yusuf Nagimoto's Cup. We've got Striker Deal running in the six furlong, 165 yard SDC 1351 Cup. And the Saudi Sprint. Am I am I reading that wrong? We're in both. And Marie Double is right. Okay, strike a deal. You're in the Saudi Sprint. How can you be in two on the same day? Oh, I, I, hmm, I don't know. I'm like, I can't pull them out of that race. There's no way to pull them out of that race. Oh, Bellamaker, let's go. Five furlong maiden. Bellamaker comes in second. Better for runs. So we ran green again. We ran green again. Okay. That's another three maiden horse. Yikes. <laughs> oh, it happens. It does happen. I wish it didn't, though. Okay. Okay. So, top rated on weight, best horse in the field. Couple of the decent ones in here that we know. Yeah, I don't expect any of them to really beat us if we're the same kind of horse we were at three and four but we're five now maybe that will affect things it's a little bit more distance as well than we're technically used to it's an extra few yards so we're gonna get up here Looks like we're in decent position. There's a bunch of horses in front of us, though. Michelle Mabel at the beginning sort of took the lead. No distorted humor. We're going to try and find our way through the pack. Sharp catches there. Darej, Princess Georgina. It's a decent field. And there we go. So we're, we're going to come on, though, to the final home stretch, the final two furlongs. Drive for the line with Sharp Catch on our outside. Slowly start moving ahead of them. And now powering on through the final furlong marker. Cosmic Star and Wheatnethly. I don't know what that is. Three, two, one, overtaken, Darej and Wheat 10 th or Wheat 10 30. Okay. I don't know why I struggled so much. So a solid run. But yeah, Wheat 10 30 is. I mean, if I'd have checked, I would have seen it came close before grade one, and it's kind of got a really good record, but I didn't expect it to come up like that. Um, and then Derege as well. So I think that tiny bit of distance over a mile two just threw us off enough. And we're probably regressing. Not a huge amount, but enough where... We're certainly not as good as a five-year-old as we were as a four-year-old. Uh, and, of course, as a three-year-old, where just unbelievable stuff happened. But yeah, Battler did okay, but it wasn't quite what we wanted. That wasn't quite what we wanted. And now we got Striker Deal, who looks to be wound up. Sweating badly and agitated. This isn't the one we thought we were running anyway. Um, so sweating badly, agitated, still comes in fourth. Almost wins the race. Okay. And then because running one race isn't enough, let's go for two. With the catcher prince. It's a horse that we 
could have bought apparently in an auction and we didn't um not sweating badly the second race of the day i don't know how i don't know why apparently it's a thing it still keeps happening even though i thought it didn't anymore so yeah not at the gates great either looks like, looks, looks like the horse wants to go a little bit but held back towards the rear amelia saratoga leads us out and then lee's anthem with lady lafitte you've got gray rose double up and mini fortune oh there's a group we're on the outside down to the final furlong the sprint for the line strike a deal is coming through with some decent pace but not enough to challenge the leaders lady lafitte is going to win this we're going to come in fourth again okay so yeah i'm not sure what that horse is all about we got no idea ran two races an all-american field in the saudi cup sure let's go marie w should win whether or not she does again that's a question of debate on the dark dark track here at night we're at least away okay we are okay so yeah the um the maiden then on to battler then that double for one horse which i don't understand at all and sweating up in the first not having a chance in the second like to see something here from marie it's a decent move up we're in position ecstasy goes out early marie not going as early as she normally does alongside king's color now chasing down ecstasy at the front just over a furlong back by about a length off the leader now we can kick on down the home stretch king's color falls away final half of furlongs where we live and breathe marie w big win get us back on track after a pretty bad day <laughs> pretty bad day so yeah a pair of fourth places i just got no idea why i've got no idea why she immediately goes into stud anyway would have been nice to see what she did but yeah she goes in there battler third solid but not really where we want him to be marie picks up a nice win i'm very happy with that and bella maker i just feel you know it's such a good horse but didn't win at all because we're just running green so we need to go again with that that's the second of them that ran green um five or six five or six so we're well back in a grade three not certain it suited okay so definitely a five so let me go back to a five and again towards the end of the month try not to have too many horses in it Let's get Bella Maker in there. So we got another couple of maidens late on. And then we've got a bunch of these Yearlings. So Endless and Osiris, we don't want. Endless and Osiris. We don't want. Which is fine. There we go. Yeah, it's a decent number. Now let's find the right numbers. There we go. I'm not sure I want to pronounce that one. <laughs> Only just looked at the name. Um, yeah, I don't know why I went so much on that one. Don't know why I went so much on that one. That's kind of throw me a little bit. Is that just going to be a three? I thought that was going to keep going up. It's not. It's going to stop. 
Umbro's Princess. That one does keep going. Then we've got another what four. Okay. So you got a two and two ones. ZFHD. Okay. And political mill. Oh, again, that one struggle to get to three and then jumps up. Suddenly it hits three, eight, four, four, five. And all the way up to five. Interesting. Interesting. Papa Zinia. Okay, that's a bit more than they normally go for. That's why. Four, three. Four, three. And then the last horse is my Amelie. That'll put us in a good position. Why is the cat upset? I don't know. We don't have a young kitten, and she's not entirely happy right now, so. Oh. She's unhappy that she's not allowed to go out into the other room, but that's nothing I can do anything about. Okay. Nothing. Zero for two. Third time fails. Fourth time doesn't really look like much. Next one is not much. We're getting worse. That's going to be a no. Oh my god, that's terrible. Absolutely terrible. So. We get absolutely nothing from that auction. Uh, why am I not surprised? So, I mean, not the best, but not the worst so far. Another auction, nothing in it, though. Okay, back to the racing. Royal Aura ran at five. We're now moving... No, sorry, ran at six. We're moving down to five. And we get another second place. I mean, it was a grade three. So we were far back at six in a maiden. Short headed out. Oh, so close. So close to a grade three there at five. Suit to, was, yeah, trip suited perfectly. Still short of pace. That's the, uh, that's the grade three, that is, sadly. Okay. What do we got at five towards the mid-end of the month? We've got ourselves a cheeky little four-horse maiden. We're going to throw into that. Yeah, we got those three at the end, but we got four coming up here. Two-year-olds. No, let, let's avoid the two-year-olds. Avoid the two-year-olds. Don't want to play. Safranana, Black W, two good horses. And nothing in an auction for a while. So we can concentrate on these last few races. Get this over the line. Get some more grade one wins, hopefully. And we move forward at that point. Safranana. Here we go. The Al Maktoum Challenge. Race three. Mile two. Grade one. Four euros and above on dirt at Maidan in Dubai. Got a grade two and a grade one domestic. We have a Hong Kong and Japanese runner coming over. And then the Americans dominate the field. We're the best horse. We are the best horse. Sadiqa's decent. Grand Honor's decent. Rewadi was decent. Tamino's decent. We're the best horse in the field by a mile. Can Safranana produce that wonderful three-year-old form? You know that she has turned four. We're near the outside. We're away okay. Sadika catapults towards the front. But it will be Cavalryman leading us off now down this opening stretch and round the first turn. Tamino's in place with Sadika. He's a steel and grand honor. Then back to Dolly Sparks, Railway Diva, Simply Blue. 
and Safranana on the outside at the rear right now. It's a decent little move that we can make up here. Join the chasing pack by three furlongs. Taking the long way around this bend again. Final two furlongs, four breast in second place. Chasing down Camry Man. Tamino's going to make a bit of progress on the inside. We've gone outside. Dolly Sparks from deep is coming through. The final furlong. Who kicks on the most for the line? Tamino and Dolly Sparks seem to have it. Safranana just puts on the burners. Dolly's going to fall off. Tamino's still holding on well in second place. But we went out, did our job, and nobody can beat us when we run our race well. I firmly believe that. At this distance with this horse, for another year at least, I don't think anybody's coming close to Safranana. Just a, su a supreme horse right now. Another win. Stay at 137. I thought that might be enough to kick up the rating. But that's the 11th grade 1 win. That's a 15th graded win. But 11 at grade 1. And it's another foreign race to add to the uh, growing collection. Black W at 139 only needs a tiny boost up to that magical 140. Very decent horse right now. Has some potential to fill. Would like to see him do that. 17 grade 1 wins. 15 of them at grade 1. Let's go. Best horse in the field. Maybe not our best horse, but he is the best horse in this field. Little Port and Brandy's here. Uh, Tallahassee's here. Steam Lady. Other horses we know. We're going to settle into the rear, though, with Applaud, Ola Trim Lady, and Peppy Priscilla uh, with Tallahassee on the inside just in front of us. The front three, Little Port and Brandy on the rail, out to a Steam Lady, and Laborek, the grey, is leading the field right now. We're probably going to stick to the rear for a while. We're going to come really wide, take the extreme long way around that turn, but by two, we are up into the challenging positions again. Here comes Little Port and Brandy. Here comes Ola Trim Lady from deep, but they stop. Applauds coming up. Tallahassee from deep. Down to the final furlong market. It's Little Port and Brandy and Pepe Priscilla. We are in position, but we need a good kick on now. Right to the line. Drive it home. Black W does not have a finish. We barely hold on to third. And that's highly disappointing. That is highly disappointing. First grade one win for Pepe Priscilla. Uh, we did not run anywhere near as well as we have in the past. That is... Oh, that's really poor, actually. That's really poor. Battler did not run well. That Fang could run better. Black W didn't run well. Yeah, maybe some of these four and five-year-olds just... Starting to fall off. They've had their peak. Maybe it's time to retire some to the breeding barn. And some just are done entirely. Back to auction. And we got another grade one. It's a three-year-old as well. Let me save. Because we have had a crash in the... Uh... Oh, it's excitable. We have had a crash in this save. So I don't want to go on that again. Looks like they might be building up for the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness here. Some of those um, sort of feeder races. Yeah. That would be interesting. But three grade one wins. Could have won a fourth there. Uh, pulled up with an injury in the juvenile turf. Such great form. Such great form. When he short-headed out in the champagne as well. Yeah, for a while, this horse was unbeatable last year. It was almost unbeatable as a two-year-old. Interesting. Interesting. Comes from good breeding. Is it mom or dad's side? It's dad's. Okay, maybe we can breed out the excitable. Maybe. I'm going to pay to see. Where's father figure? expensive could it have won any of the grade ones no not really okay we're gonna back off that 
So Mr. Fizzbomb, excitable, but I will pay the price to see what they are. Curiosity, we will see. And we see... Oh dear, a lot to like. We see a lot to like. We just need to get rid of the excitable trait. We just need to see that excitable trait go. But Master Fizzbomb looks solid. Okay, that's some stamina bar. Did we have adaptability? We did not. Okay. So that's a mile two to a mile three. I don't think we hit the Preakness with Fizzbomb. I don't think that's a possibility. Uh, in fact, I think a lot of these one mile ones and one miles aren't really going to be good races. Yeah. I think this is definitely more mile two to mile three. Kentucky Derby, a possibility. Let's, let's say a possibility. And then the Belmont for certain, I would probably run. Yeah, that's a... Uh, Oh, that is an interesting horse. That is an interesting horse. Yeah. But I don't think we run any of the four he's booked in. I do not like that fit at all. I do not like that fit. A mile two. I don't think there's anything at a mile two before the derby, is there? So... Okay, we're going to hold off him. We'll run him in the derby if there isn't a better three-year-old that we like that's on distance. And we did discuss the lack of derby contenders that we might have. Be a shame not to run any. So he might get the go-ahead on that basis alone, honestly. But yeah, oh, if we can just get that, that trait bred out so he's not excitable... That would be really kind of cool. Because there's so much else to like. There really is. There's so much else to like there. Afro Storm. Okay, so stand side rail is deteriorated. So we want to stick to the near side on the rail. We're low weight. We are fairly low rating. We're one of three grade twos. There's three grade threes in here as well. But this is a grade one race, and there are five graded one horses here. Sharifia, Maweb, Princess of Iona, Jasmine Breeze. We all know those horses. Iris Mary doesn't ring a bell. Now, we seem to be okay. We're actually tipped with Jasmine Breeze. Um, yeah, okay, jockey orders again. Um... We're up against grade ones. If we go early, it might be a problem. If we go late, it might be a problem. Okay, so prefer inside. How does Afro Storm even run? I don't know if we're a close up. Ridden in pack, even pace, front runner, pack, 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 closer. So yeah, we seem to be more in a pack. But we have won a decent race from the front. So I think, yeah, I think we'll be okay. Okay. Let's go see. Let's go see. A couple of grade two wins, grade three. It's a decent horse. It might get distance for the Kentucky Derby. But we do need to test the distance and we do need to test the high grade. So grade one over a mile solves that second problem. We're going to have to wait again on that first problem. Off okay against the rail. Doesn't seem like we're going to be running on that bad track on the outside that we were warned about. Weather is rainy. It's going to be a little bit more of a, a soggy track maybe. But we are stalking there just behind Princess Fiona and Little Book, two of the favourites. Jasmine Breeze in the middle. They were one of the other favorites down to the final two. And yeah, we are going to go a little bit later. So Iris Mary 
Decent run from them. Maha Webb now making a move up into third. Final furlong. Don't know why we cut to the inside. We're going to get blocked off for doing that. That was a terrible jockey decision. Now we move to the inside again. We're going to get slightly blocked off there again. And that's cost us the win. The jockey cost us the win. Absolutely brilliant. You've got to love it when your jockey screws you like that. Why? Why? We were on the outside. We had a clear lane to run. Out of traffic. Not an issue. We told him to stick to the inside, but not not there. Not in that way. Why dive to the inside twice? Oh. Oh, that's pissed me off. That has pissed me off. <sighs> That should have been a grade one win on Afro Stomp. That should have been a grade one win in a decent field. I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed by that. I'm really annoyed by that. Okay. Ah, oh, jockey, jockey, jockey. What are you doing? Why? Okay, let's go to the 23rd. Let's finish off with an auction. Hope to get something really good to add to the breeding barn. We never set up breeding, did we? Strike a deal. I'm trying Royal Defense and King Kane. We've got Halifaxus. We could just go Mandalay King. Perfect Soul and Synchronize have entered the barn as well. I wasn't too impressed by Siberian Tiger, let's be honest. Charmer, we know that Charmer's produced at least one decent horse, because that is striker deal that we picked up. That's who we're breeding from, so that might be someone else we can look at, but we're not going to breed, you know, striker deal with their sire. That just doesn't make sense. Yet home. Stakes winners. Rash move, seven stakes winners, which is 58%. That's high. Who are your offspring? Snowy's Pet and Snow Magic. Don't really know them, but they look like they're doing okay. Oregon Trail Function Dream 1 Grade 2s. Performing Pocket and Gretel 1 Grade 3s. You know, that's not too bad. So Sam's Pride... Would probably be able to pick up a grade three. Looks like maybe distance is the issue there. And then it's two two-year-olds. Oh, sorry, four two-year-olds. Those are the only ungraded horses. Oh, and Gold Digger. I didn't see Gold Digger. What's Gold Digger done? Got a third in a grade three at a mile three. Again, could easily see that one pick up a graded race. So... I mean, these are all with different horses, yeah? Flower Girl, Polo Berry, Miss Queen, and La Bouche. Yeah, no, I think Rash Move is quite possibly a really good one to breed with then. Yeah, they've all come on Fly by... Oh, that's Fly by White, though. That's Fly by White. Okay, that's... That's the sire there. Storming Red, Mazika. I'm trying to find names I know as well to add to the list. Who is yours? Mr. Fizzbomb. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be the problem there. It's going to be a problem there because that's the excitable side we were looking for. But Heron Island got a grade one win. Mrs. Willy Nilly got a grade one win. Oh, there is so much though. All of them. All of them are actually uh, excitable. Rock with you. I like that horse. I really like that horse. And that comes from Marvelous Value. Okay. Yeah, I think Rush Move 
is a decent horse, but some of these nine-year-olds are also going to be decent. So maybe I want to breed from some of these. Aztec Warrior, for sure. Marvelous Value, for sure. Rash Move. Yeah, I think these are some of the ones I want to breed with. The Marvelous Value is the eldest. So kind of want to do them this year. Then we can hit Aztec Warrior, Charmer, and Rash Move next year. And hope Charmer's still there. I think that's what I want to do. Marvelous value. Let's go. Decent. Was there nothing in the auction? I don't think there was. Yeah, there was nothing in that auction. Okay. I can't remember whether I checked it or not. But you got oh, look at that. Bit of a breeze. Another grade one. Some grade threes. I'm not going to go for the older horses. 12 or 56 isn't great. Yeah, a lot of handicaps and whatnot. Not really interested there. 6 of 52. Again, not great, but could have won a grade one. Okay, so we've got a second place. We've got a fourth, a fifth, a third. We've got a fourth. We've got a fifth. So never out of it in terms of in terms of grade ones okay and then bit of a breeze one a single grade one could be of one more yes could have picked up at least one more a uh, bit of a hit and miss any breeding no but those are the two i think bit of a breeze and be my flower none of them are excitable got a sprinter and a mile up Let's see what they're all about. Okay. Some late bids. Going to make sure that we do get the horses. So a bit of a breeze. 1.35. Then this is going to be a 2.2 something possibly. Yeah, just a touch under. So let's make it 2.2. For Be My Flower. Bit of a breeze. Looks okay here. Yeah. All matches up. Five furlong run up. Survey says... <clears throat> That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Ooh, bit of a stinker. Bit of a stinker. And the more expensive horse, despite not winning as much, got a lot more distance. That's a mile one. It's a mile one horse. That's what it won its last grade two. Um... Where did it win all its other grade twos? Oh, back here somewhere. And yeah, that's a little over a mile to a mile one. Be my flower. I mean, might as well be pushing up daisies. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. So many horses that we're not really excited about. Maiden for Bellamaker, please win. Thank you. Oh my. Oh. Still ran green, but one and three quarters. Yeah, we can probably be pretty done there. Nothing at the Friday auction. Double Dara. Please win. Yes, we win there readily by four and three quarters. Finally, we get up. Looks like Barawara's tired. And then we got Royal Aura there, which we're going to do in the next one because I don't want to miss races. Um, But we're 19 of 36. We're just over 50% for the season, which isn't bad when you have a large group of two-year-olds. We are... Uh, 16.1 million for the year. And our career is 129 of 184 for 117.9 million. Ooh. That's outstanding. If anyone's got a couple of million to lend me so I can start up a horse, ra horse racing stable, I think I'm getting into the grips of it. I think things are going well. But yeah, breeding done with Striker Deal as well. And then the question mark over Mr. Fizzy Bomb. 
seeing how he will run. Honestly, I might just hold him for the Belmont. We might look in our three-year-olds and see if any of them could possibly run in the Kentucky Derby. And if not, we could put Mr. Fizzbomb in. But yeah, I don't think Espana's going to get it. Adonis needs to jump up some more potential. And Afro Storm as well. I think they're good enough horses. Adonis probably the one I'd back the most. But Fizzbomb's probably as good and has distance is just excitable so we can't really trust it so let me know what you think about that hit me up in the comment section below like comment subscribe you know the drill all the good stuff hit that notification bell i'll see you in the next one where we find out kind of what kind of we can do in some of those prep races and then we'll go and decide how we're going to approach the triple crown this year we've got all three races again to defend saffronana the Triple Crown winner last year. We need to make sure we put the right horses in the right spot. So join me to find out then and how we do it. But till then, take care. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon.